Well, it's called retro. Yeah, but retro what? Well, retro all sorts of stuff. Maybe it's collectible. Maybe stuff you're interested in decorating your own apartment and house. We're going to find out all about retro. In fact, I'm going to go for some retro mini right here for myself. In the 50s, it was always lighter. The colors tended to be a cream background with turquoise, very much of an atomic feel to it. A uh, little bit of a carryover from the uh, streamlined look of the 40s. Uh, and you get into the 60s and it's lighter and it's brighter and the colors are enthusiastic. Think of Carnaby Street in Britain where the mini skirts and bright green and bright orange and, and everything just pops off the wall. And in ceramics at that time and in glass, what happened was they discovered new colors and they got away from the the pink and the gr pale green and the soft into something that just blows your socks off. We've got lots of university, probably university to the 35 somethings who are really interested in the retro look. Some of them are looking to, you know, their whole their whole apartment or their whole condo is designed in that particular style. And then there's others who just really enjoy having that one little piece or that one a uh, special item that they can show off to their friends when they come. But certainly there's some that, you know, they're, it's a collectible to them and they are filling their entire place with it. Well, I don't know if it's retro, but it looks like it's made from a tree. I guess it's retro. Well, there you go. Some tips on the retro style. Brad Walker, Shaw TV. We'll see you next time. How about that, Paul? That's a brass peacock. Mm.